Step number one is to get a reliable hosting provider. Just follow the bit.ly link. For a start, a $5 configuration is just perfect. Make sure to choose Ubuntu 14.04 operating system. It's very easy to set up and maintain. If you want, you can choose where your server should be located. We keep the server in USA and get this great plan. You can create a new domain, transfer, or just use an existing domain. I've already prepared a domain. Let's use that. Now you can configure your server if you wish. We keep it at $5 and continue. Looks good. Let's check out. Now, fill out all your data and make sure you agree to the terms of service and complete the order. Once you order your server, let's move on to step number two. Second step is to set up the server and your website. Make sure you're logged in. Once you log in, navigate to My Services, then choose the server you want to manage. In the Additional Information tab, you can copy your server IP. Under Linux, you can use SSH to log in, or if you have Windows, use PuTTY. Make sure you use the custom port. For security reasons, it's not a default port. When you connect for the first time, you have to confirm the connection to the new server. Copy the root password and use it to log in. We log in as root on the port 7822. First step is to update the resources with apt-get update. Don't worry about the GPG errors for now. Now we can remove all the unwanted software and install the software that we need. Change to the opt folder and clone the sample project with git clone. Switch into the Django VPS hosting folder and create a new virtual environment. Activate the new environment and install the Python package with pip from the requirements text. Once the compiling is done, pip will print the packages which were installed. Next step is to configure Nginx. Change folder to etc nginx site available. Navigate to GitHub and copy the pre configured Django VPS hosting conf file. You can create a new file with Vim or the editor of your choice. Before you paste into Vim, press A and paste the copied text. By creating a soft link in etc nginx site enabled folder, we enable it for use for nginx. Now we can reload Nginx to pick up the new configuration. 
To make it easy for us, we create a script to start our Django server. Change into dash etc dash init.d and create a new file. You can copy it from GitHub. chmod plus x will mark the file as executable. For security reasons, we will change the folder owner recursively to the default www data user. To ensure that the server starts when we restart the server, we need to create again a soft link in dash etc dash rc2 Dot D folder. We can finally start Django server with our script. Let's change to a browser and see if it works. Congratulations, you set up your Django website successfully.